Our coverage of this house on North Lincoln, just across from the arena, has sparked dozens of questions from viewers in recent months. It's home to 10 sex offenders, and the majority are considered sexually violent predators. Many of you have asked us why the county and city aren't doing anything to stop them from being released here. KXLY Force Taylor Graham continues our exclusive coverage tonight. She took your questions straight to city and county leaders and is live at the Lincoln House with their answers. Taylor. Well, Aaron, County Commissioner Josh Kearns and City Councilwoman Lori Kinnear say, in short, they aren't doing anything to stop the release of sexually violent predators here because their hands are tied. That's because state law actually preempts cities or counties from creating ordinances or residency restrictions for sex offenders. Now, we were able to find two recent cases in Kitsap County and the city of Polsbo who put short-term regulations on the books for facilities like the Lincoln House here in Spokane. The thing is, Spokane County has had something like this on the books for 10 years. And over at City Hall, Lori Kinnear believes these ordinances undermine state law and could be challenged in court. We can enact our own laws, and certainly we do, but ultimately those laws can't countermand what the state has uh, dictated and said and what our state legislators have passed. That are located in the city. Now, both Kearns and Kinnear believe the best route is to work with those legislators to change the law and put the power back in the hands of counties and cities throughout Washington when it comes to this kind of housing. They say they are working towards that with state leaders, so if we hear of any update there, we'll be sure to let you know. Reporting live in Spokane tonight, Taylor Graham, KXOY 4 News.